Frank, I wanted to ask you about, obviously Daniel's got power. There's a lot of fighters, especially in the heavyweight division with power. And the one that comes to mind is Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Now you fought somebody like Mike Tyson, who, who was known for his power. Talk to me about Mike Tyson's sort of power that he had in the ring. You faced him twice. You know, he knocked a lot of people out. What, what was his power like? Because when I speak to people about Deontay Wilder, they say he's like a sledgehammer, that sort of power. What, what, was, what was Mike Tyson yeah, I think, like? Um, Mike Tyson is a different cup of tea than 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 Dante and Wilder. Dante and Wilder has just got one, not one. He, if he catches you with the right hand, he can punch the left hook, and he's like a wheel mill. But you can't put Mike Tyson in the same bracket as Dante and Wilder because that Mike Tyson is a different league than him. You know what I mean? People like Bonecrusher Smith, they were very very hard puncher. Tim Riverspoon was a very very hard puncher, he's an undisputed champion. So a different class, but we're talking about a different era. Dante was a good fighter, but at the end of the day, I think he's limited in a lot of different things that he does. But he's a champion, so you can't take that away from him. Uh, what do you make of the current heavyweight scene with Anthony Joshua losing his titles? You've got Tyson Fury there, you got Deontay Wilder. Who do you see as the king of that crop? And Dylan White you've got as well. Dylan White as well. And you've got some other youngsters coming up and whatever. It's a very exciting time in British boxing. And British boxing is flying the flag and doing very, very well. And I'm glad to see. Tyson Fury fought on the weekend. Um, he's an advocate for mental health, like yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of his achievement so far? You know, he's come, he's come back and he's fought Deontay Wilder. Ogbe won that fight, mm. came out as a draw. What do you make of his achievements so far? I think he deserves a knighthood to compare to what he's been through as what he's come through. He's done very, very well for himself. You know, I mean, he's flying the flag for British boxing. Before he, 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 he was saying some crazy things, I think Frank has tightened him down. I think his dad has sat talking to him and he's dropping it very, very neat. And I wish him all the best. British boxers in the right, right, good place at the moment. I hope the Hunting Joshua can get his belt back and then he puts some noughts on the check for all the boxers to get in there to make some corn for themselves and do very, very well. It's nice to keep all the belts over in England because people use to disrespect us and. Um, um, underestimating us, but if you look at all different weights, we're flying the flag in a big, big wave, sir. So.